Together we build a sustainable future. One of the slogans we have, and it's translated on the ground, not only by the activities and efforts exerted by the state, but also the NGOs are playing such a very important role, the civil society. We are going to know more about the volunteers we have, about how the NGOs can play a big part, maybe the lion's share when it comes to dealing with people on the ground to make sure that tomorrow is going to be a better day. We are very much delighted to have with us one of the uh, members of, uh, or board members of one of our NGOs. Uh, she is uh, Dr. Am um, sorry, Engineer Ameni El Shinawi, and uh, she has a lot to speak about when it comes to that because uh, on the ground we do have many steps which are taken on the ground by our NGOs. Thank you very much for being with us, Engineer Amani. Thank you very much. Before going into details, how do you see in general the activities of our NGOs? Because as, as I said in my intro, they are playing such a pivotal role in the progress of our society in general. This is true. Uh, the NGOs uh, consist of a number of uh, volunteers and uh, everyone used to work on his own. Uh, in the year 2017, I had a, a meeting in the Ministry of uh, Planning and it was a meeting for NGO uh, members. Uh, we discovered that everyone is working on the same topic. We mm. are working, we are complementing the work of each other and also when the, the initiative of Haya Karima or uh, a Decent Life which is a very uh, intelligent initiative uh, started, uh, uh, we, we are working uh, in the same track of what Haya Karima is aiming for. So everyone is complementing each other for the development of our country. Great. Since you mentioned Decent Life Initiative, we do have a lot of initiatives, in fact. And those initiatives are um, implemented all over the country. We reach the remote areas, villages, uh, cities, towns, even the border uh, governorates. How do you see the efforts exerted by our civil society to reach those remote areas? Uh, civil societies uh, reach the remote areas uh, uh, in the same manner that uh, Haya Karima does uh, uh, the presidential initiative uh, through uh, the uh, assessments. Uh, every, every area could be assessed and uh, uh, you know what they need, the community mm -hmm. needs. When you know the community needs, uh, every uh, NGO is working in certain areas of focus. For example, my NGO or the NGO that I'm, work I'm uh, working through, I'm a member in, is working in seven areas of focus. So uh, if, you, if there are uh, villages that uh, need the water connections, uh, they could be helped with water connections. Uh, a very important area that the NGOs plays in and has a great role is the vocational service because NGOs have professions that could be used in training people mm -hmm. uh, in order to have uh, better uh, job opportunities and in order to have uh, a better uh, uh, businesses if they were better future better future career yes, yes. Mm. for the entrepreneur uh, for the entrepreneurships <laughs> yes yeah uh, what about um, empowering women and uh, uh, taking into consideration that uh, one of the um, important uh, even sustainable development goals is to empower women and youth uh, the sustainable uh, development, uh, the sustainable uh, plans of uh, Egypt uh, uh, and the, uh, the plans of Egypt 2030 uh, and also the sustainable plan of the United Nations uh, takes care of women as uh, a very important part of the countries and uh, also the youth. Yeah. Uh, uh, the equity is very important in the sustainable plans. Mm -hmm. So uh, in our culture to the Egyptian culture, it was never a problem for women mm -hmm. being empowered because in our culture, uh, empowerment is there. We have yeah. queens uh, when there were no queens yeah. uh, wherever. 
so uh, Egyptian women are empowered. Maybe in some uh, areas uh, empowerment was less or uh, more, but uh, uh, now it is uh, the, the country is taking a very good care of that. The NGOs too is taking very good care of women um, in uh, very in uh, very very uh, special ways. Even uh, the men Ministry of Social Solidarity is uh, uh, allocating uh, a very good initiative for women. Uh, and yeah. the NGOs help women to go and uh, apply for those initiatives. Being and involved into civil work, Engineer Amani, how do you see now the culture of volunteering? Do we have many volunteers, I mean, among our youth? It's not only to volunteer with their money, even with their cloth or something like that. It's also to volunteer with their time and effort. How do you see this and if this is now one of our culture um, features? It's now something which we easily can find among our youth. If you want to elaborate on that, please. Volunteers are people who know uh, how to uh, try and give back to their country, uh, who know the, their social responsibility in the country. So you find volunteers uh, uh, givers. They are uh, givers. Uh, it's not about giving money. Giving time is more precious than giving money. Giving your, from your experience, from your profession. That's why uh, vocational service is very important mm -hmm. because everyone gives from uh, his profession. If he's a doctor, he can uh, train uh, young doctors, um, uh, nurses, and uh, in all fields, in engineering and in all fields. And, so, and in your opinion, what are the most important challenges you are facing? Uh, as uh, volunteers, you're uh, facing uh, that uh, uh, the financial uh, support. Uh, support, yes, because uh, volunteers don't have that money. Uh, we always have to make fundraising in mm -hmm. order to get money or uh, get partnerships from uh, companies and uh, banks uh, who have CSR. Uh, as uh, we're working in very important and uh, in very uh, good uh, areas that will uh, develop the country. So yeah. uh, it's the first uh, obstacle, the, the finances. Uh, getting good volunteers too is uh, you take time in order to, uh, uh, to, to let people join and uh, uh, they come and um, uh, watch how the projects go and how yeah. it's very touchy and very uh, important that mm -hmm. people have water in their houses mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, uh, that a child uh, who had a uh, heart disease uh, mm -hmm. gets over his uh, uh, problem and starts playing and running uh, this is very touchy so uh, the volunteers who are really having the are givers who are givers mm -hmm. uh, when they come once they uh, like to join and to make the effort how do you see also the initiatives which were launched by the uh, government or by the state and were implemented partially by the state but also the NGOs had a share in it like um, the health uh, insurance for example um, 100 million uh, uh, health or meet million yes. uh, stuff like that when you go on the ground and uh, being involved into such initiatives and implementing these initiatives uh, how do you see the efforts exerted on the ground uh, as volunteers we wor we work on uh, health uh, projects and when uh, the 100 million uh, health uh, project was uh, initiated uh, we worked uh, in awareness uh, that helps the 100 million uh, health uh, initiative and uh, initiatives as uh, the um, uh, uh, vocational training, for example, uh, awareness against pol polio, uh, the vaccinations for children, the, the early detection of uh, diseases, all those uh, projects uh, where uh, uh, the awareness c uh, is made by the NGOs. The NGOs uh, work in parallel with the government and with the private sector in order to develop our country. And um, Engineer Amani, in my humble opinion, um, if you want to know to what extent this society is civilized, See how this society is dealing with people with the determination or people with the special needs, with the disabled. Uh, how do you see also now efforts exerted to make people with the special needs 
totally and fully integrated into our society. Uh, the first thing you, you can make for those uh, little children is to treat them uh, as they should be treated. Uh, it's their right uh, to have good education, to be uh, merged with other uh, children, mm -hmm. uh, to make awareness among the other children, uh, to uh, treat them well, uh, because uh, equity should be uh, uh, initiated in the schools mm -hmm. and uh, followed up uh, that uh, other uh, children don't uh, bully, and bully them mm -hmm. or uh, and uh, also give them good education that make them uh, find jobs and uh, be uh, uh, have all their productive. chances because they deserve to have all their chances yes it's all about equity and being human yeah um, how about also the kind of uh, uh, cooperation which you receive from different entities whether it's the um, governmental bodies schools universities clubs um, how do you see the kind of cooperation they introduce to civil societies here in Egypt? Uh, all the entities are uh, very helpful. Uh, if we have a certain project that needs a space to make the awareness for people uh, for uh, blood donations, we can go ask any club or university that we uh, get the, the, the blood donation uh, cards and the uh, volunteers who will take care of the project in order to have uh, two days, for example, blood the, uh, blood the donation campaign. Uh, in the last uh, um, uh, a period of time, yes. yeah, uh, we had uh, to uh, to collect some uh, uh, information that uh, will help in uh, in assessing any village. So, or any uh, university, you can go and ask the people to have surveys and have uh, uh, and when you have the accurate data you can implement all your plan in a right way um, uh, engineer many when it comes to education and to vocational education in a specific it comes to a very important part of our um, future if I may call it this way but to spread awareness as you've kindly mentioned also uh, that vocational education can be the future and we should not look at uh, um, a vocational education as a second degree education uh, to know well how it can play a pivotal role in the progress of our society. I think this is another huge responsibility you have as an NGO. Tell me more about that. This is through uh, vocational, uh, vocational training and uh, uh, transferring the knowledge from uh, people to other people who need it. For example, uh, people who uh, uh, are working in the factories need the vocational uh, training before they start working. Uh, young doctors need vocational training from senior doctors before they start training. Uh, so this as uh, volunteers and having, uh, uh, we are, we're old volunteers, <laughs> the elderly people always have the experience and this is precious mm -hmm. uh, that we can uh, give to the youth. Uh, the youth in our country, our country is a youthful one so yeah. we have the majority of people who are youth and who are uh, having a lot of potentials and uh, having good education and vocational service will make the future very happy for our country. Yeah. I'd like also to know the feedback you have when you achieve something fruitful on the ground. What's the feedback, uh, feedback you have from the people? And I think the feedback from a simple old woman, for example, a child is very precious. Tell me about these experience because I really know that they can be that fruitful. Uh, the beginning of uh, my uh, joining an NGO was uh, that I saw people how happy they are when they found uh, find the the water coming in their house. Yeah. Uh, that the they had uh, the 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 people the volunteers before I was one of them uh, were uh, went to the house and uh, taught them how to use the toothbrush and how to wash their hands. Uh, they gave them the, the tools, the mm. soap and everything uh, to use and the, and the tooth uh, paste and everything. Uh, so this was very touchy that uh, now of course the government is doing a great effort that most of the country is covered with water yeah. connection already. Mm. Uh, the time I was talking about was uh, before. Uh, also people who have 
health issues, mm -hmm. uh, heart diseases, um, tumors. When you find people uh, who had the awareness and uh, uh, used the early detection to be cured, this is very touchy. And uh, it is very touchy. And this is us. This is being Egyptians. Jiri Amani, thank you very much for your input, ma'am. Have a very nice day. Thank you very much. Right after the short break, I'm going to be back with more.